It looks like we got a brand new limited time huge event coming back to Pet Simulator 99 in update 18. This might be the first time we actually got a limited time huge event like this one in the game, so we just have to talk about this. Besides that, we also have a few other leaks that might be hinting at what kind of gameplay we can expect to see in tomorrow's update. Now remember, if this video helps you out, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more because we always cover all of the news that is happening in Pet Simulator. And if you do want access to these leaks before I even talk about them in a video, I usually post all of them inside my Discord. Link will be down in the description below for that. And we also do daily huge giveaways on there. So you guys should definitely be joined up for that. But let's just get right into these leaks. All right, to start off, you guys are gonna need a little bit of context if you didn't watch my leak video from about two days ago. Ago. Basically, in that video, we talked about a brand new exclusive enchant that it looks like we're going to be getting in this update, and I'll have it on the screen here, but basically, as you can see, it's some sort of diamond enchant that is going to do something related to diamonds in the game. Now, there's a lot of speculation on what this enchant could possibly do, but a lot of people seem to think that this enchant is going to be just like the one from Pet Simulator X called the Diamond Bag Master, which essentially just upgrades the diamond bags that you get from drops and i guess it just gives you more diamonds in general now why that context is important is because we just got a brand new leak that actually just came out like in the past 30 minutes or so which we actually don't even have a picture for just yet because this leak has just come out but according to copycat on twitter there is a brand new diamond gift that was just added to the game files very recently now we can put two and two together to connect this to that diamond enchant that we got leaked a couple days ago and we can only assume that this new enchant is somehow going to spawn these diamond gifts or something like that. Obviously, I can only tell you guys theories as there is nothing confirmed and this isn't a leak from big games themselves. This is just information that I've gathered myself on Twitter. Now, obviously, a change like this could have a huge impact on the pet simulator economy, so it's actually very important to find out how good this stuff is right away when this update comes out. Because, for example, if this enchant is absolutely busted and people are able to get a ton of diamonds, then we could see mass inflation within the economy but considering the past few enchants and buffs and just basically anything big games adds to the game they really don't do any crazy buffs as of recently so for all we know this diamond enchant could be absolutely useless so i wouldn't panic just yet but it's definitely going to be something we need to keep a close eye on for this update let me know down in the comment section what you think this new diamond enchant is going to do and if it's going to be anything really good honestly i always think that big games is going to do something crazy with these updates or make a super overpowered enchant they've really just been adding things to the game that don't really change much at all so in terms of likelihood of how good this enchant could be uh, it's really up to you guys to decide now while that first leak could cause massive inflation within the market this second leak could be doing the complete opposite so basically for context if you don't know already a couple days ago we got leaked a new diamond egg which we all assumed was going to be some sort of egg that we have to open that cost diamonds in the game and in that egg we assumed we would get a chance at some sort of huge pet or something cool like that and today these leaks were confirmed with a tweet from big games that i'll have on the screen right here but essentially in this picture you can see the diamond egg for yourself and also above it it says huge is remaining with some question marks so essentially this is going to be that limited time huge event that i was talking about in the intro now i know some of you are probably going to be upset by this because it's not necessarily like a free huge event like the one we had with the happy computer event because at the moment it seems like you're going to have to spend diamonds to actually open this egg but either way it's still technically free to play because you're not going to have to buy anything Thing with robux or have any game passes or anything like that and you can still have the same chance as anybody else in the game to open whatever is in this egg now before i told you this leak i said this one could cause mass deflation and that is true because if whatever is actually in this egg is really that good and it actually has a decent chance at getting it we could probably expect a lot of people are going to be spending their diamonds on opening that egg to try to get that rare huge or whatever's in it but on the other side of that if the odds are just absolutely abysmal and the huge isn't that good looking or people don't want it then we could probably expect that nothing 
nothing's going to happen from this new egg. For example, we have that diamond wheel in the tech world that everybody thought was going to crash the market because everybody was going to be spending their diamonds to try to get the huge from that wheel. And pretty much nobody ever even uses that wheel anymore just because the odds are just not nearly enough to be worth it. So if something similar happens with this egg, then probably nobody will even pay attention to it. But the difference is with this event is that these huges are actually limited because in that picture from big games, it says huge is remaining. So to me, it seems like the odds are actually going to be pretty good to get the huge or whatever's in it. But the only difference is that there's not going to be that many available that can be opened. So I'm guessing it's going to be very important that you're actually there on update day. So you have a chance to open what's ever in this egg before all the huges are gone. Either way, though, I'm very excited to see what this is. It does seem like we are getting another limited time huge event, which is always something cool to have in the game. So it should be an exciting week for an update but moving on we actually got a leak about a brand new good versus evil chest that i'll have on the screen here now personally from the looks of it this chest looks a lot like the police hq boss chest which a lot of people really miss because that thing was giving out a ton of loot and people were getting absolutely rich from farming it but there is always the possibility that it is another boss kind of like the jungle boss was in the summer world which people really did not like and the odds were absolutely Absolutely horrible to get anything good from so again this is just going to be something we're going to have to see in game to see if it's actually good or not if it is like the police hq chest you can definitely expect that enchants like corruption and the nightmare orbs are going to be going up in price a lot and while I am fairly positive that this is some sort of boss chest for this week, it is always possible that this could just be another chest that we open with keys and just get some sort of weird loot, but I doubt they would add that on the second week of an update like this. But if it does turn out this is a boss fight, you guys know I will have a video out later tomorrow on how to actually destroy it very quickly. And if you want a rundown and my opinion on the update just a few hours after it comes out, make sure you come back on YouTube and check my channel for that. Every week, a couple hours after the update, I release a little video going over it and going over the major things that I think will change during that event. Now, if we head into this good versus evil world, even in my video a couple days ago, I gave a lot of suggestions on what I could think would be behind this door. Now, in that video, I said that this door looks exactly like the police HQ, which obviously contains the police boss chest. So I definitely think that this new good versus evil chest could be behind this door and this could be the brand new area that we're getting unlocked and the new best thing to grind for these gift bags as well as these points. Which actually leads me to my fourth leak which is kind of less of a leak but if you are on the good side of this battle and you think that your team will never stand a chance at coming back, Copycat actually asked Chicken Putty on Discord whether or not the points would reset at the update and he actually said you'll see so it does seem like there is kind of a potential that they change up the way that this battle works I've seen a lot of suggestions from the community that this points chart resets every hour on the hour so basically a team has a chance every hour to come back and win which i actually think would be a really good idea so no team could have a lead like this so I hope they actually implement a system like that. I think it would be a lot more fair and a lot of people would be more willing to grind. And then another smaller leak that we got that is actually kind of important as well is a big quality of life change coming from big games. I'll have the tweet on the screen here. Now it's a little complicated when you read it, but basically Chicken Putty is saying that they're implementing a new charm system that's going to make it a lot easier to go through and add as well as remove charms from your huges. So from the the way it's explained on that sheet it seems like if you have enough charms you can just go ahead and add a bunch of them to huges all at once if they have an open slot and then it seems like they also have a new way to remove charms in mass as well now this new system that they wrote down here seems a little clunky as well but either way i think it should help out a lot because as you guys know if you have a lot of huges it could take like more than an hour to go ahead and change one charm on each of these huges so either way i think this is a massive good change from big games and honestly they've been killing it with these quality of life changes in these updates but essentially that is all we can expect to see in the update tomorrow seems like there's going to be a lot of cool stuff so let me know down in the comments section what you think and whether or not you think the economy is going to inflate or deflate from all these changes either way though thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video and peace out